Hello, welcome to my home lab. In this new video, we're going to install Fedora Server 42 with a custom standard partition storage configuration. We're going to use XFS. In the second part of the video, we're going to explain some basic disk commands. The first thing we do is to boot up the system with a USB stick with Fedora Server 42. I come back when the system is booted up. We start the setup with language. English, English United States. You see here, we install Fedora Server and the other side, Fedora 42. Continue. First, we do the keyboard because I live in Belgium. I have an ASRT keyboard, so I do plus sign, Belgium, add, and I remove English. English, minus, done. Language, that's already okay. Done. Time and date. See here for me, Europe, Brussels, that's okay. Not okay, you can see that here. Done. Then root account. Enable root account. Password. And confirm the password. Done. User creation. Name, the username, for me that's okay, you can change that if you want, password, confirm the password, you see here, add administrative privileges, so that means you can use the root, and require a password, okay. Done. Done. Installation source. For me, that's okay. Auto detected. But here you can choose network or an ISO. Okay. Software selection. We do Fedora server. If you want extra software, you can select it here. But for me, that's okay for now. Done. Installation destination. You wait a little bit. The network, I have two networks, one unplugged and one, you see here, later, we have 192.168.129.9. That's the IP address for the server. Done. Now we do the installation destination. As you can see, we have four disks on our computer. The latest is the USB stick with the Fedora ISO. We have a 4 terabyte hard drive, a 250 NVMe, and a 1 terabyte NVMe. I want to install Fedora on the first disk. So we select it and we do custom. Done. First, we select here standard partition. BTRFS, we have done in the previous video. Also, LVM, we have done in a previous video. Today, we do standard partition. Select it. The old partitions from a previous installation, we have to delete. We select it and do minus. You see, delete, file system, delete it. See, it's gone. Also here, minus, delete all file systems. Select it, delete it, everything is gone. Now we can do here, click here to create a file system. You see, we have the AV, a boot partition, and the root. The root is only 15 gigabytes. You see it here. We want to change that to 100.
standard partitioning and you see XFS. We create the second one. Home. I want to do 700 gigabytes. See, home partition, 700, standard partitioning, XFS. We still have 129 left. That's for the bar. And the plus. Bar. Now we do 129.93 gigabyte. Hot point code. And voila. We only have one megabyte left. So we have a home partition, 700. If we boot, the root partition, also 100. And left the bar, 129. As you can see in this setup, the XFS file system is strictly. The BTRFS from the previous video was more flexible. We can do done. You see, first it's be destroyed and what's been created. Accept changes and everything is okay. We can now begin the installation. It's going to take some time. I speed up the video and come back when everything is in order. See you in a minute. The installation is complete. We can reboot the system now. First, I need to remove the USB stick and click on Reboot System. Again, it's going to take some time. I speed up the video and come back when everything is booted up. After, we go to the command line from our Windows PC and do an SSH connection. We are ready now to do an SSH connection. You see the IP address and the username. You see, the first time we have an error. We need to edit the .ssh known host file. Open the .ssh file with notepad++ and every item with 192, 168, 129, 9, you have to remove. So from here, all until the end, we delete. We save it, and we can go back to our SSH command line. We are back on the command line now, and can try again to log in. SSH, and you see now it's working. We need to confirm the fingerprint, yes, and the password. Now we are inside. Because we want to do some disk commands, we have to do root. So as you password. See, we have root access now. The first command I want to show you is F disk. F disk with L. You see the 4 terabyte drive, the 250 NVMe, the 1 terabyte NVMe with a couple of partitions. EFI, the boot, home, root, and variable data. See, we have a home from 700 
from 100 and the var with 129. We have also a spot fire. The second command is add BLK. Again, the 4 terabyte hard drive, here the swap file, the 250 NVMe, and the 1 terabyte NVMe with AV, boot, home, 700, root, 100, and var, 129. We have also LSBLK with the F option. We have more options here. As you can see, now we use XFS as the file system on our boot, home, root, and var. The next command is BL EID. Again, all the partitions from our one terabyte drive, four terabyte hard disk, and file. Again, Next command is F stop. So we do cut ATC F stop. Again, these are the partitions that are mounted at boot up. The root, boot, AFI, home, bar. Next command is DF. Again, the root partition, the boot partition, the var, the home, and the AV. All the rest are time. Now, DF with the capital T option. Here we have more options here. As you can see, we use XFS as the file system. And the last with the H option. See, it's now more readable. See, the root, one, 100 gig, the boot, the var, 130, the home, 700, and the AV. All the rest are 10 files. Then we look at the mount. We do mount, grab, start with slash def, enter, see again, all the options, the root, the boot, the var, the home, and the AV. So, that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up, and see you later. Thank you very much.